The Ministry of Agriculture has sounded an alarm over the imbalance of imported food against the country's production, saying the government spends up to excess of half a billion Kenya shillings annually in food importation. Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Andrew Karanja says the government will soon be engaging farmers and the private sector in pooling resources and infrastructure around improving the country's food production and reduce its dependency on food from outside. Lois Wangoi reports. Agriculture CS Andrew Karanja terms it a shame that the government spends about 520 billion shillings every year to import food items that Kenyan soils and weather can support their production. But the CS says there's a catch. The country's farming sector needs to urgently explore matters, seed production, among other inputs in increasing the country's production of food varieties. We are having a challenge with the planting materials, seeds and planting materials, especially for uh, potatoes and other, other planting materials. And where we are today is uh, the development which also is helping the government agenda in terms of planting materials. Because without planting materials, seeds and planting materials, that we cannot grow the crops. Finance mostly moved away from when they used to finance the farmers and went towards uh, the technical areas. Finance, we shall all die if our farmers are not financed. So, as you continue making uh, way and making sure that um, we have, uh, you provide finances for business, also push it harder so that Kenya becomes food secure because we shall be involved 100%. Currently, the country's most imported foods include unmilled wheat, maize, sugar, edible oils and rice. These foods are largely the country's staples, an indication that the country is yet to produce enough food for itself. The CS says areas that are currently producing those foods should be empowered with climate smart technologies to boost existing production. And we want, I want to guarantee any farmers that we are having enough basics and other seeds in the country. And uh, what we are fighting is uh, the fake ones. The fake ones are still a bit uh, coming through, but we have a multi, multi agency team which is working on them. We are going to work on them. Increasing yields at the farm has a direct connection with practicing smart agricultural practices. And here, youth who have had training in emerging trends in agriculture were put to task in applying the knowledge in the agricultural sector, one dominated by the older generation. There exist uh, serious shortages in other legumes, pigeon peas, lentils, cow peas, doricos, that is jahe and other regimes, and these must be addressed by Kenyans. Ken Attempts by the government to reduce the food importation burden are not new, as stakeholders call an all-round approach with the focus being to cure the country's reducing food fortunes at Kenyan farms while identifying climate change as one of the gaps. <laughs> A, a crate of tomato was going for 12,000. Within one month, it drops down to 500 shillings. And there was a lot of wastage. And this is what we need now to invest in. We have taken this in the process. We minimize on wastage, and at the same time also, we create jobs for our, uh, for the, for our youth. Lois Wangoi, NTV.